The Assignments feature in Teams allows educators to create, distribute, and collect assignments from each student all within the Teams platform. Teachers can manage their assignment timelines, provide instructions, add resources, and more. They can also use the Grades tab to provide feedback on assignments and track student progress, which students are also able to see. To begin creating an assignment, go to the general channel of one of your teams and select the Assignments tab. You'll begin to create an assignment and enter in all of the important information by clicking on the purple Create button. You to have a few different options from creating an assignment, a quiz, or to create an assignment from an existing one. We're going to begin from scratch and create a brand new assignment. As you begin going through this, you'll enter in all of the information for each of the fields. So here we'll call this uh, research paper. And I'll provide any necessary instructions for my students. Please submit. After I place my instructions in there, you'll notice I can have a little bit of formatting. It's going to give me the option to add some resources. So for instance, if this is a research paper, maybe I would like to include the guidelines for them or how to properly format. So it's going to let me put in a resource and I can choose where this resource is located. If it's something that's in my OneDrive, like a Word document or a PowerPoint, I can go and add that from there. And I'm just going to go through and pick something here. If I find the document I want, I would click on it and hit attach. If I wanted to add more resources, I can keep doing this and I, you can add up to five resources. So if you'd like to create a new document for them to work on to use as the template for their research paper, you can go and you could click on new file and you could create a new Word document, a PowerPoint, or an Excel for them to work in. If I created a new Word document, I would just give it a title. And when I click on Attach, it will also add that in there. One important feature to take notice of is underneath each of your resources, it's going to by default say students can't edit this. This is an option that you can change for each of the resources that you add. So this means that right now the document is a read-only document, which is great for a reference material. But if you would like students to be able to edit their own copy and then turn it in from there, we want to make this editable. So if this is the document I would like students to be able to work on, I would click on the three dots and I would say students edit their own copy. This would now let this Word document be editable by each student and they could actually go and then type their research paper right in here. As you scroll down, you can assign a point value to your work. If you wanted to add a rubric, you could go and add a rubric. It does let you customize one in here. You could use one that you've used in the past. You could upload a rubric that you already have and that would need to be in an Excel format or you could create your own. If you wanted to create your own, you could come in here and just type in your categories and which each of the criteria is. Once you're done with that, you can click the attach button and that will put a rubric into your assignment. As you keep scrolling down, it's going to ask you which classes or teams that you would like to assign this to. So this is a nice feature if you have more than one team that's going to get the same assignment. So you might have two teams because you teach a class two periods. So you can go and select multiple teams to have this assignment posted. It's then going to ask you which students you want to post this to, but that will only let you do one class at a time. So I'm going to clear multiple classes, and right now this is going to be assigned to Miss Kelly's 2020 Art Period 2 team. It's going to ask me which students I would like to have this sent to. So this is where I could decide if I wanted to only send this to a few students. Maybe it's an enrichment project. Um, maybe it's some differentiated lessons. Or I can choose to send it to all of the students. As you keep going down, it's going to ask you what the due date and the time due is, and you can select that. 
and you're going to see right below that this is saying assignments will post immediately and late turn-ins are allowed. When you click the edit button, it's going to give you many more options for editing your timeline. So if you would like to schedule this for a future date, meaning you want to get your assignment ready but not post it yet, you can change the date for when this is going to be assigned. So if you wanted to select another date, you could customize all of this as well as the time. If you wanted this to be posted right away, you would keep this button unchecked. You can go and select a due date for this as well as a time, and you can also select a close date. And what that means is there's going to be a due date on let's say Friday, April 17th. You can make the close date sometime after that, and that means between the 17th and the 20th, you will accept late assignments. After the close date has been hit, no more assignments will be allowed and accepted. So once you've formatted all of your timelines, you can click the Done button. And once you are all finished with this, you can click the Assign button, and this is now going to assign it to your students. So here in my Miss Kelly 2020 Art Period 2 team, I'm under my general channel and I found my assignments and you're going to see that these are four assignments that I have for this class. You can also see a notification pops up that this assignment has been posted to my general channel. As you continue creating assignments, one feature that you might find helpful is the ability to incorporate a Microsoft form into your assignments. You can do this by clicking on the Create button and selecting the Quiz option. Once you've selected the Quiz option, Teams is going to pull up all of the forms that you have created and you can scroll through your list and automatically assign one of those. When you find the form that you would like to assign, click on it and click the Next button and this will allow you to now go back and do your instructions Decide which teams you would like to post this assignment to and enter a due date, the same, the same setup that we formerly talked about. Once you hit assign, this is going to become a new assignment. It will be shown in your assignment list and it will also once again be posted to your general channel for your students to see. In the next few videos, we're going to look at the assignments feature from a student perspective, as well as the way which you can grade your students' work, provide them feedback, and how they can resubmit their work once those revisions have been made.